with the best intentions do it for someone in their family who tells them it's got a full service history and you turn up and it's like got half service history and it's like I really don't want to chip you because you obviously you've made a you know we've already kind of agreed a price, but this makes quite a substantial difference to the value of the vehicle. Mm. And um, they haven't told you that they're. Um, a massive it's, it's this, what's, what what's I think, Brian, the way I think about it is when someone says a car is a certain way, and you're like, "Yep, yeah, well, as long as you say it is as you say it is, we won't chip you." And then you get there, and like you say, the service history isn't what they said, or there's damage on it that they hadn't mentioned, or whatever. I'm disappointed. Not in the car, in that I have to lower my offer to you now. I wish I didn't yes. have to lower my offer to you because I want to be as fair as possible. And I feel like then rather than being like, that's the price, I'll come and get it from you. Now, if I get there and I have to negotiate with you, I'm being lumped in with a category of every other dealer that's going to try yeah. and chip you down. Yeah. And that's exactly. not what it's about. Exactly that. I'm 100% the same. They expect us to just be a ruthless cold dealer who's going, right, I'm going to go there and I'm going to chip him down and get the price down. I feel really bad for having to chip a price down. I really don't want to. I want to be the easiest exactly. person to do business. I want to give a price. I want to turn up. I'm within sort of 20 minutes unless they want to chat. I've loaded it up. I've paid them. I've gone hassle-free. But the reality is they know when they go to buy a car, if they ask, has it got a full service history and it hasn't got one, they're either going to be put off buying the car or they're going to want you to do a low servicing work on it. They know if they go to look at a car and the wheels are all curbed up, they're going to want them doing. They know that if they go to look at a car and the bumper's down. So if you haven't told us those things, and we turn up, then what choice have we got? Yeah. You know, you're telling us it's immaculate, it's perfect, um, but it isn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I think one of the worst things I did this week, actually, I didn't say, was to take a car off a friend's son. So Adrian does my driving, and I'm not blaming anyone here other than myself. Um, his son was back and forth negotiating a deal with me on a car. And he didn't do it with me. And then he kept, went to buy a car elsewhere and said, would you still buy my car off me? And I said, well, if, you, if I'm not selling you a car, I can't give you the price I was offering you because I'd given some of the margin in the car. Um, and he was quite tough negotiating on it. And I gave him this price. And I knew the car was a bit dirty. But when it turned up, I, I'd heard it run. Um, I didn't drive it. I should have driven it. But I started from cold the other day. And it is. Um, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. It's. it's I mean, it's really... I mean, I felt bad for chipping him down on the price I gave him in the first place, but this thing is, yeah, it's not good at all. It's not well, good that's, at all. Well, that's the thing as well, that if people, you, just, you turn up and you chip people down, they're like, oh, yeah, but you've got a better offer on motorway or whatever. It's like you say, if you turn up and that car's, like, that was my one concern about this uh, F-Pace, the Ingenium thing coming down. Yeah. We know the guy anyway, so we're like, send us a video of it cold, and we'll kind of take his word that it is cold, but... You know, people, if you have a car delivered to you and it turns up warm and it sounds great and fires up every time. In fact, I did it in a video the other day on a little Mercedes SLK. You, I was like, listen to this when I get in because it sounds like a bag of spanners. But as soon as I turn it off again, start it again, and that oil is being pumped around, it yeah. sounds mint. So, and the, what difference does that make to a car? Say you buy a little SLK for three grand, you're hoping to sell it for four and a half, five. And then once you've got it, you've turned up and it's warm. Oh, yeah, I've driven it home from work or whatever. You get it back. And the next morning you start out and it's like, you know, well, right, yeah. there goes a thousand pounds. And yeah, time I, really, I, I yeah. would never have bought this car, you know, and yeah. they know that. No one doesn't know that their car makes that offer. I, I think there's a, I think there's a this small minority that don't know. I think there's some people that drive. I mean, I'll give you an example. My friend's, my my wife's friend, the car um, went in for MOT and they passed and they said next year won't pass because the underside of it's too rough and I had a look at it me and Pete had a look and said no it just needs wire brushing down and painting so I said we'll book it in and we'll do it for you um I don't do that kind of work normally so we got it in uh, so no I went to go and pick it up from her and I got literally 200 yards up the road I stopped and I called her and I said do you want us to go ahead with this work because your car is terrible I said what do you mean I said your clutch is bad I said your suspension is bad I said you've got a wheel bearing out for sure um, I noticed all this straight away, and she went, "Oh, really?" She said, um, "I said, are you sure we wanted to go ahead with the work because I, I'm, you know, I we you drove it to us and we drove it onto our ramp, looked at the underside, and said it needed doing. We didn't drive it at that point, so we then booked in later on for it to to come in, and then I drove it and noticed all sort of stuff. She said, "We well, know, yeah, I still want to go ahead. She's just been in for its next MOT, and they haven't let her drive the car home because I told her at the time you need to get this wheel bearing done badly for starters, yeah. but they said it was that bad they wouldn't even let her drive it home, and she's just gone and bought a new car." Um, and she hadn't, she wasn't aware of any of these things. No, these there things is definitely an element of some people who are like, who are like that, just completely, just completely mechanical. But no, I mean, certain, I mean, some people, people know their engine sounds like a bag of spanners when it starts from cold, don't they? 
Let's be yeah, honest. About I, I mean, they might not know people, what that's... wouldn't they? Even if they don't know what it means, that's probably yeah. They might not know the, the significance on the of chain. it. It's yeah. just they're they're like, oh, it's making weird noises now. Now's the time to sell it or get a different car. Yes. Yeah. They 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 and and normally to be honest, that's I mean, if everybody put their hand on their heart, I think ninety percent of people part exchanging the car have been told by a mechanic the car is on its way out, haven't they? You know. Yeah, when it comes some, to, uh, unless, you're, unless you're the kind of person who changes every five years on nearly new. Or it's just after they've spent some money on it and they're like, I don't want to spend any more money on this car now. I want to get a new one. It's, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it is a bit of a minefield. It's, um, yeah, it's a tricky one because you can say the same thing. I mean, auction, like everyone does, everyone says everything. Auction's only there because for a reason. But no, I mean, I know the other dealers around locally because I approached them, main dealers, won't sell to traders at all. It has to go through auction has oh, to go yeah. for auction to stop any backhanders. So there is there is that stuff. There is that stuff that does go into auctions as well. And we know mobility cars, a lot of them go to auction, don't they? And that's the stuff everybody's fighting over. But also, there's um, genuine people who do just want to part exchange their car because they fancy something newer and flashier and they've gone to a car supermarket and they get the finance and it's gone in that way. doesn't mean yeah. it's not. I don't think it's the only time that people change their cars when they're knackered. There might be something. No, I don't think necessarily knackered, but there are a lot of things that people live with with their cars, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a weird little noise or it knocks or whatever. And yeah, they'll just think, well, I won't do that because it really, doesn't really bother me. Like you're saying yeah. about not being like oblivious, I'll get in, well, my car, my that white BMW high mileage thing um, that my other half is driving now. And I'll get in, I'm like, bloody hell, it needs like front arms or whatever. It's just knocking away. And she'd be like, oh, does it? And I'm like, yeah, well, can you not hear it again? Like, don't, 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 as you go over like puddles and such. Like, oh yeah i did notice it was a bit like that so i didn't mention I, it i drove my wife's car the, the other day and it needed um it needed drop links that bad they clattered everywhere and she had noticed so i had the drop links done got in it drove it again and i noticed that as soon as you come on off the power you can literally feel the engine it needs a rear mount at the bottom doing that oh, none right. of these yeah yeah yeah, yeah she hadn't noticed Brilliant. any of this stuff at all some people i guess if it comes up to you gradually over time you, you're not it's not as obvious is it yeah but um no, I mean, yeah, so, I mean, that's the thing. So going back to buying cars from subscribers, it's always really hard with a subscriber to renegotiate a deal on things they've missed. And especially, like, say, if they put you in touch with a family member and they've probably said the family member, this guy's straight down a dive, he's told you that's how much he'll give you, he'll give you it, and then you turn up and the information is wrong. It's a, it's a, it's it's awkward, a tough isn't one. It? And then you feel, yeah, like I say, I'm disappointed because I've, I've got to offer you less. I want to give you full of money, but logically I can't, you know. I went to get one this week and it was like, it's um, pretty much one owner and a full service history. And you turn up and it's, well, it's not been serviced since 2019 and there's no, nothing in the paperwork. Yeah, the amount of people who think it's got full, it's got, it had full service history when they bought it. So therefore they say it's got full service history. It was like, you've owned it for four years. Have you serviced it? No, it's probably due a service now. It was yeah. due a service two years ago. Yeah. 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 